Social Studies is concerned with the study of social relationships and the functioning of society. WASI is a critical milestone for senior high school students in West Africa, especially the Gambia, Sierra Leone, Liberia, Ghana, and Nigeria. One of the core subjects in the WASI curriculum is social studies, and all of these countries mentioned in West Africa have various textbooks that cover the subject. This has created the need to identify the best social studies textbooks for students who write WASI. In this video, I'll talk about five of the best social studies textbooks for WASI students. Watch to the end because at the end, I'll be giving you a bonus tip. One book, which is not a textbook, but is essential if you want to pass your WASI. So, without wasting time, let's dive into the video. The fifth book is Social Studies for Senior High Schools by Eric Bimpong. This textbook is comprehensive and covers the WASI social studies syllabus in depth. It presents information in a clear and concise manner, making complex concepts accessible to students. This 436 page textbook presents information in simple English, making it easy for students to understand key concepts in the social studies syllabus. The book begins with a table of contents that outlines each year and each term in sections. Now, one problem I noticed with this book is that it is very disorganized. The table of contents is not arranged in an orderly fashion. This disorganization is evident throughout the whole textbook. For example, under year one, section one, self-identity is on page one, followed by adolescent reproductive health on page nine. At this point, the next topic our culture and national identity should be on page 28, yet it is on page 180. This poor arrangement of topics can be disconcerting for students. One distinguishing feature of this textbook is that WASI past questions are presented at the end of each topic and the answers are also provided, although the answers are not always provided. Additionally, guidelines are also provided to help students to know how best to tackle each question. Another problem that made me put this textbook in the fifth place is that there are no diagrams. Now, admittedly, not all topics require diagrams, but some topics require diagrams. Topics such as adolescent reproductive health and our culture and national identity are best explained with diagrams to give students a holistic idea about the topic. Now, if your focus is how to answer essay questions, then this textbook is definitely best for you. However, another problem with the textbook is that there are no objective questions, only theory questions. So as a student, if you want objective tests to try your hands on, or if you're a teacher who wants objective questions to use to test your students, this book does not provide such objective questions. So if you're looking for a textbook, that has a blend of past WASI questions and probable questions that is theory only, then this textbook is good for you. However, if you are looking for objective tests, you will not find it. That is why I put it in the fifth place. The fourth book is Akiola Social Studies for Senior High Schools by Philomena Boateng. Akiola series is one of the more popular social studies textbooks that is well regarded and aligns well with the WASI syllabus. It is made up of 389 pages that follows the norm of being divided into three years, which each year having three sections that corresponds to a term. Each unit begins with the learning objectives that guides the teacher and the student as to what they'll be able to achieve by the end of the topic. A brief introduction is given at the beginning of each unit that gives an overview of the topic. Subsequently, each point is well explained within three to four sentences. Additional points are also given and expands on the topic that guides teachers and students. This gives students a broad overview of the topic and gives teachers additional material to make the topic a little clearer for students. One distinguishing feature of the textbook is that elaborate diagrams are provided and this makes it easier for teachers to teach the topic and for students to grasp the concepts being discussed. 
Another advantage of this textbook is that at the end of each topic, sample essay questions are provided which students can use to test their understanding of the topic and teachers can also use to examine students. Now these questions do not only cover essay questions, they also cover objective questions and at the tail end of the book, over 400 objective tests are provided to help students with answers as well provided. Now this objective test is comprehensive because it covers all topics from Form 1 to Form 3. Yes, so looking at all these features, I'm definitely placing Akiola series as the fourth best test book for WASI students. Before we move on, if you are new to this channel, part tune. Be sure to subscribe if you are interested in videos that bring you everything you need to know about the educational system in Ghana. The third best social studies test book is Global and Approaches series Social Studies for Senior High Schools by Emmanuel Minta Afari. It is a highly regarded test book for social studies in West Africa. It is also designed to meet the needs of senior high school students who are preparing for WASI. Like all other test books, its table of contents is also put into years and each year has sections that correspond to a term. This 555 page test book begins by explaining or giving students tips on how to answer objective tests and also how to answer essay questions. This book begins by explaining learning objectives which teachers can use to prepare their lesson plan and give students an idea of the objectives or what they can achieve for each topic. Now, explanation of points is a very crucial aspect in social studies and this test book provides an adequate explanation of each point, although I put it in third place because the explanation is really not that much. The explanation given in this test book is usually between two to three sentences, but ideally, a student should be able to explain each point between four to five sentences or lines. One aspect of the test book which is worth noting is that it states some activities that teachers and students can engage in for each topic. This is particularly helpful in guiding teachers to know what activities to engage in when teaching the subject. Another excellent aspect of the test book is that pictures or diagrams are used. The pictures are in black and white and also give students a good idea of the topic being discussed. Another thing is that structured essay questions and objective tests are also given at the end of each chapter. Likely examination questions are also provided at the end of each chapter for students to practice. And you don't need to worry also because the answers to these objective questions are also provided. So overall, Global Series is really a good test book, a well-rounded test book. And if you want to choose this, I'll also recommend this for you. The second test book I recommend is Golden Social Studies for Senior High Schools by Emmanuel Asaridonko. This is another excellent choice for WASI students. This social studies test book is widely used in West Africa and is known for its detailed content and engaging writing style. It covers all aspects of the WASI syllabus, including citizenship, governance, national development, and culture. This 551 page test book also begins with the table of contents put in each year with sections that correspond to each term. Each topic begins with a brief introduction that summarizes the topic to be discussed. The general objectives that will be achieved are also briefly stated at the beginning of each topic. Specific learning objectives that provide sample questions are provided at the beginning of each topic. One notable advantage of this test book is that a lot of information that goes beyond what is stated in the syllabus is provided. This is particularly helpful for teachers, so if you're a teacher, this test book can help you to give your students a holistic education. Students will also find this additional information helpful because it gives them a better understanding of the topics being discussed. Although this additional information is good, it can also pose a challenge to students because they may find it difficult to identify which of the information is even examinable. Now, the author tried to address this problem by stating important facts to remember at the end of each topic. This section summarizes the key points 
as these are the most important that students have to note when studying the chapter. Another feature of this textbook that sets it apart from other textbooks is that there's a section that describes or that explains the meaning of keywords that are used in each chapter. You may be aware that social studies relies on a good understanding of English language and so if you struggle with English language, social studies may be a problem for you. That is why this part of the textbook is very important for students who struggle with the English language. So the section, important words used in this chapter, is very good to help students understand the meaning in context used in each chapter. Another distinguishing feature of this textbook is that it provides colorful and vivid pictures that give students a better understanding of the topic being discussed. One challenge of such vivid pictures is that not everyone will be comfortable with seeing such images. Generally, the vivid pictures are good, but when it comes to such topics like adolescent reproductive health, such vivid pictures may be disturbing to some students. The book also includes review questions and activities to test students' understanding of the topic and to reinforce learning. An objective test with answers are also provided at the end of each topic that pertains only to the topic. The book does not only include objective tests, essay questions are also provided except you would have to refer to the main topic to get the answers to these essay questions. So all in all, Golden Social Studies is really a very good choice which I will recommend for any student who wants to pass the AWASI. The best social studies textbook that I recommend to students who want to pass the AWASI is Current Social Studies by Michael Akatoa. This textbook is a highly recommended textbook for senior high school students. This book is tailored to the West African educational system and covers the entire social studies syllabus comprehensively. Like all the other textbooks that have been reviewed so far, the table of contents is put into three categories, year one, year two, year three, and each year is put into sections that correspond to a term. At the beginning of this 568 page textbook, the general objectives of each topic are laid out. There is a general problem in society that necessitates the need for each topic, and this general problem is also stated at the beginning of each topic. One notable thing about the definitions given in this textbook is that it tries to give multiple definitions which may be easier for students to choose which one they can best remember. One outstanding thing about current social studies for senior high schools is its explanation. As I stated earlier, explanation is very very important in social studies and after examining multiple textbooks, I can tell you for a fact that the explanations given in this textbook are one of the best. For each explanation given, relevant examples are also stated which supports the main points being discussed. It provides clear explanations and numerous illustrations that help students to understand complex social problems. Appropriate diagrams are provided. Although they are in black and white, they are not as vivid as some of the other textbooks we've reviewed and these parts are also labeled appropriately. This gives students a better understanding of the topic being discussed. Additionally, at the end of each topic, this textbook provides sample essay questions for students to try their hands on. At the end of the entire book, sample objective questions which covers all topics from Form 1 to Form 3 are also provided and the answers are also stated which students can also use in their preparation. Now, WIAC also has certain guidelines when answering questions under social studies and the book also provides such guidelines to help students answer their questions appropriately. Now for the bonus tip that I have for you, social studies is not just about studying and attending class, it's also about answering as many past questions as possible because if you study past questions and you notice the trend, you see that most questions are repeated and perhaps just slightly modified. Which textbook is best if you want to solve past WASI social studies questions? I would recommend A Plus Social Studies for Senior High Schools by Opoku Amin and Ishmael Adams. This 826 page book 
thoroughly examines all past questions for WASI in social studies from 1993 to date. It looks at both objective questions and essay questions. Now, typically, if you take a past questions test, what happens is that they indicate the past question for each year. But this book does something different. In the table of contents, it actually indicates all 23 topics from Form 1 to Form 3 and the WASI questions that are related to each topic. I would say this is excellent for both teachers and students because as you progress through each term and each year, you are able to notice or to follow which WASI questions are related to each topic and you can try your hands on or practice them. This is also excellent for teachers because after treating each topic, you can see all WASI questions that are related to the topic and you can use it to test your students. The answers to the WASI objective questions are also provided and the essay aspect is also well explained. It also goes further and gives students guidelines on how best to answer essay questions. So all in all, I'll say the A plus series, social studies for senior high schools in West Africa is the best choice I recommend if you want to try your hands on WASI questions. If you want to excel in social studies and get an A, I definitely recommend that you get the A plus series for social studies and get one of the test books that we spoke about earlier. Now, if you want to know the best test books for all subjects as a WASI student, I'll recommend that you visit my website, patstune.com, or you can watch this video that also discusses all the best test books for WASI students. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe.